Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be sharing with you the 10 essentials that I believe every woman should have in her wardrobe. Just keep in mind that this is quite general and quite broad. I know that some of you are going to say well I would never wear that but quite generally I think these are the pieces that every woman should own. I'm going to start with a quintessential classic and that is the white shirt. And this one here is a white cotton shirt. Hopefully you can't see how creased it is in the video. I don't have an iron at home and garment steam doesn't work too well on cotton. Uh, mine's from Drees Van Noden, so obviously I did splurge a little bit on something high quality. But it's just a very classically cut, slightly loose fitting shirt with a pointed collar and buttons down the center. And I think this is just such a great piece to have. It is perfect for the office. And I also think it works really well in more casual situations as well, maybe worn a little bit more loosely with a pair of denim and a really long cardigan or even with a skirt and a jumper just thrown over the top. I just think that these are so chic and such an easy piece to wear and also a really easy piece to care for as well. If you want to be a little bit fancy, you can always pick one up that's made out of silk. Just keep in mind that it does have a few more different things that you have to do to care for it. Usually you have to dry clean it unless you want to go the extra mile and hand wash it, soak it very lightly and gently to make sure that it retains its original condition. The second piece that I think is worth mentioning is the Breton Stripe Top. This one that I've got here is from T by Alexander Wang. It's a linen cotton mix and this is probably a little bit looser than your general style. There is a French brand called Petit Bateau that make the most beautiful Breton Stripe Tops. I'll link them down below as their stuff is just amazing. I remember buying one over there and it's incredible quality, very thick cotton. But I just love these. I think kind of that Marinia or you know striped look it goes with everything I mean I think it looks great with this denim skirt I've actually worn this look on my blog I'll link down the post below if you're interested in seeing it but I just think this is such a classic goes with absolutely everything you can wear this with color as well you can wear it with florals if you want to try and mix patterns but I just think if you have something like this you're always going to look chic it looks great underneath the blazer and yeah I just think this is something that every woman should have and you can get different colors as well I prefer white and navy but you can also get ones with a red stripe or you can go with a black stripe as well if that's more your preference so this next item I actually think you should have one or the other at least and it's either a muscle tank or a loose fitting boyfriend t-shirt so my muscle tank is from Glassons it's just very plain it's black crew neck style. It doesn't cut away too low under the arms. It's just a really nice loose fitting tee. It feels absolutely gorgeous. It's such a good quality cotton. And then the second one that I've got is from Everlane and I believe this is probably more of a viscose. It's absolutely gorgeous to touch. It is very easy to care for. It's got a low scoop neck, kind of loose fitting boxy shape. I just think you need to have one or the other. These are perfect for the weekend and I also think that you can kind of mix up maybe a cotton tank to wear to the office as well if you're being kind of clever about it. Now, it wouldn't be one of my videos if I didn't mention a pair of shoes and I think that every woman should have a pair of classic black pumps. I've actually got two that I'm going to show you. The first is this pair from Isabel Morant and I'm hoping you guys can see them but they've just got a little bow detail on the side. These aren't your typical kind of heel. I like the fact that they're probably about three inches tall so around the nine, eight to nine centimeter mark. They've got a pointed toe which goes with everything and the fact that they have this quirky little detail as well at the toe which I just think is really nice and really snazzes up. These heels, these are just so easy to wear all the time. They go with everything obviously and then the other pair that I've got is more of a low heeled version because I have been wearing less high heels and more flats and lower heeled shoes and these ones are from Valentino. Obviously you can buy more cheaper alternatives but I tend to try and get quality pieces that I think will last me a really long time. And just one thing that I think you should do if you're going to buy a nice pair of shoes is get them toki sold where they put this sort of very thick grainy kind of plastic on the bottom and it really helps to elongate the life of your shoes. So these ones here have a little angle strap, they've got a more rounded toe and just a very low heel, almost like a kitten heel but it's a block shape so they're very sturdy and comfortable to walk around in. So I've got quite a lot of tops and things here so the next one that I think you should have is a cashmere or merino wool sweater. This one's from Everlane and it's cashmere, it's got a crew neck, slightly loose fit through the body and it's got ribbing details at the ends of the sleeves and also at the hem of the sweater. I think that Everlane makes excellent quality cashmere, particularly given the price 
and I think that this is just one of those luxury pieces that you should have. They're so practical, they're great for in the winter time and they go with everything, particularly if you purchase it in a neutral colour. The next piece I think everyone should own is the little black dress. And mine is probably a little bit more unusual than most others. You will have seen this if you've watched many of my other videos. It's from Karen Walker and it is a little bit backless. So I love this. You can't really wear a bra with it, but I do love the style. I think it is really chic. I always get comments on it. It's got pockets, which is always a bonus, but you can always have a more dressy little black dress or you can have a more casual one. I just think that they're such a great piece to have. It's one of those things you can throw on when you're unsure what to wear and you know you will look good. Different styles suit different people. So obviously for me, I really like this loose style. It's a halter neck. I like the fact that it does show off a little bit of skin, but maybe you might like to have a more fitted pencil style dress with cap sleeves or maybe a smock or I think it's really down to your personal style, but I do think a little black dress is a must in every woman's closet. The next piece I think you should have is a great pair of denim and mine are from Frame and these are my favorite. They are a skinny jean, the Le Jean de Skinny I think they're called, and just a indigo denim. They're very close cut to the body and I think they're just so flattering. Personally, I prefer a skinny style, but I think again, just like the little black dress, it comes down to finding the particular style that you think suits you most. So for me, it's skinny leg, but for you it might be a boyfriend jean, or maybe it might be a straight cut or a boot cut. I just think it's about finding the pair that you really love. I just think that every girl should have a great pair of denim that also makes her belt look good in her closet. Now this next piece is a little bit more formal and really more practical for the office. So if you don't work in a more formal environment or if you're a student, then this is probably not a piece that you need to have, but it's a pencil skirt. So I've got two here. They're both from Lover and they're both actually the same style, but it's just a little lace pencil skirt. I don't necessarily think you need to go down that route of getting one that's pinstriped or gray or anything like that. I think you can really put your own style into it and that's why I've got lace skirts because I do love a bit of lace and I just think that these are so so classic and I do think there is a pencil skirt out there for everybody. My widest point is at my hips so generally I wouldn't think that a pencil skirt would be for me but I found that this particular style it's not too fitted so it kind of has a straight fit through the body as opposed to more of a really fitted look. I think this is just such a great staple, particularly if you were just going into a working environment and you're not really sure what to wear, as this is so simple with a white shirt, or you could wear a Breton striped top, or you could wear a cashmere sweater. They kind of go with pretty much everything. So I love pencil skirts, I think they're great. The last two pieces that I think everyone should have are both jackets and the first one is a leather jacket. Mine's from Acne and this is the make leather jacket in case you're wondering. Nothing says off-duty model more than a black leather jacket but that aside I really do think that a black leather jacket is the perfect piece to pair with a really gorgeous dressy outfit particularly if you want to tone it down a little bit. I also think that it's such a great piece to have on the weekend when it's a little bit cold but not too cold and you can get so many different styles as well. Mine is a very sort of loose fitting biker jacket but you can get ones that are a bit more cropped, more fitted to the body and not so loose. But I mean for me I like to be able to pair jumpers and stuff like that underneath. But I do think that these are such a great staple and definitely something that everyone should have in a closet. The last piece that I want to share with you is a trench coat. Now I've got two but this one that I've got here is from Everlane and it's just a beige trench. Personally, I don't know of anybody who wouldn't want like a Burberry trench in their wardrobe. It's just such a classic going to last the ages type of piece. They're really practical. They're waterproof. So they're made out of a cotton gabardine, I think is how you pronounce it. But I do think they're very chic, particularly if you get them in a beige. I just think that these are so Parisian, so chic and very flattering as well. And it's all about finding the right one for you. So those are the 10 key pieces that I think every woman should have in her wardrobe. I'm actually going to be doing a series over the next couple of months where I show you how I would style each of these pieces in multiple different ways. I'm going to try for three or four different ways to style each piece so that you can get a real feel for how you could wear something and why I consider it an essential piece for your closet.
There are a few other items that I just thought were worth mentioning at the end of this video. I really do think that a great blazer, whether it's black or white or gray or navy, is really essential in your wardrobe and also a really great pair of denim shorts that you can wear throughout the summertime. Those are just two other pieces that I would wear, but if I had to narrow it down to just 10, I think these would be the ones that I would choose. And there's definitely a lot of outfits that you can mix and match with all of these pieces that I've talked about as well. So stay tuned over the next few weeks and months as I show you how I would style all of these pieces. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video and were able to take something away from it. If you are new, please do subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. See you later. Bye.